all right so welcome back to our youtube channel uh, don't forget to like subscribe if you're new and let's get straight into today's video because in today's video we are going to be giving you guys a rundown of the second week of the new server events so you guys have probably seen the first week of the new server events so we're going to be doing exactly the same thing we're going to be covering all the second week events and the second week events are actually really really good they're absolutely amazing so we're on obviously a new account to show you guys um, the events and what's worth it in these events and what to look out for because uh, there are some things you know you really want to look out for you really want to grab in these events so obviously most of the events are still going to be the same as you guys can see all the top up events and all that are still going to be the same uh, they run for a full month so you still have the total daily gift you get the daily top up which is exactly the same you still have the thousand draws obviously until you finish the thousand draws and then this is the limit time events all the new events will go over in just a sec um, all the rewards are exactly the same you know all the login rewards the shops are exactly the same nothing really changed in all the shops um i think this emperor's gift might stay there forever the first top up as you guys can see we're still free to play on this account this account i might top up as well um we'll see how we go but we're playing free to play on both the accounts at the moment and the limited return this one is the new pack for the week this one's actually really good if you're pay to play it's only one dollar and you get to select a variety of characters from the three camp core which is absolutely amazing you get a free dupe as well so that's really good for one dollar if you're a top up player but let's go over all the new events and why the second week is really really good all right so just like the first week the first thing we still have the new server festival event um, so this event right here, as you guys can see, you still have exactly the same as the first week. Um, this event's absolutely amazing. Tons of great rewards. It's so good. I really love this event. And the difference between the first week and the second week is this week, you actually don't actually need to do any of these. So each day as you log in, uh, it'll automatically complete all of them for you. So if you've completed in the first week, uh, the second week all of this will be automatically completed so let's say that you logged in the second day you unlock this this will already be all completed all you would have to do is just click here and claim all the rewards it's really really good so you don't actually have to do all the uh, missions you just automatically get them all so just like this now i literally just logged in today and all you have to do is just do this it's so good from the devs what they did here and then you just collect and claim all the rewards and obviously the draw rewards are exactly the same as well so we're just going to be doing the last two here they're exactly the same you know the thousand then you get to choose your character you get the three camp tickets it's all exactly the same as well if we just go on same characters kids are the best character from here in my opinion um so yeah that event absolutely amazing if you're a pay to play player you got the emerald pack for Kuzan and then you get the rookie pack which is completely terrible don't buy these if you're a spending player and one new thing from the new festival is there's actually login gifts now so they're absolutely amazing the login gifts so the first day um so you always get these you know exchange bounty orders for the new server event but you actually get two war star characters you get I believe one full five star yeah 30 plus 20 shards which is absolutely amazing plus you do get you know a little it's not insane rewards but it's still really really good for this uh, type of game so we're going to collect our last rewards there and obviously quick battle you just get more tokens and stuff like that so that's the only new thing for the new server event but then we still have three more tabs to go through and the main event as you guys could see the main event for the second week is the Marco Wish Recruit event. So Marco, obviously the best yearly in the entire game at the moment, as this game is still only five months old. So you get the wish assembly where every time you draw, whenever you reach a certain amount of draws, um, you get certain rewards. So we're going to be completing this one today, 2.5k. I highly recommend doing 100 draws and picking up Marco. 
one copy from recruit and you guys will see as you guys have already seen on the thumbnail you do get a free copy of Marco somewhere else um, and then progressing Marco as far as you can to get these rewards as well you should be able to get Marco to eight star if you have enough or if you've saved enough Emperor food for your Marco so you should be able to get to at least eight star so try and get, promote him up as much as possible uh, to get these rewards here all right and then this event right here i'm not exactly sure how to say this this is the event where you get your marco for free so as you guys can see you do this event right here it's exactly the same as memory so you just do the five different stages and then you get the reward 50 shards right here and you get your marco copy for free which is absolutely insanely good that our game is giving a top tier character for free um, so that's absolutely amazing yeah one from draw and then there's your six star marker and you can get him up to eight stars at least so it's absolutely amazing year 10 you know sr tickets and then you get three camp tickets so it's absolutely amazing and then the ocean trials this event is just basically a boss you just do as much damage as possible to the boss and you get certain rewards every day by the way so it's absolutely amazing you know you get gold fruits every day gold every day tickets every day it's such a good event um, and then the recruit event itself as you guys can see you get one free pool every day and the rewards are exactly the same as the first one except you can choose you can choose different characters if you want but marco is obviously the best character to choose um, and I highly recommend doing 100 pulls, so unfortunately they've kept it 20 as we said in our first video, but yeah, doing 100 pulls to pick up your Marco dupe is absolutely amazing. So we're going to go ahead and do that in today's video, we're just going to complete our last 20 pulls and we're going to pick up Marco you know, for you guys in today's video. There you guys. As you guys can see, we pick up Marco. Unfortunately, oh wow, and we got 250. Where well, we get two five stars as well. I've actually gotten really lucky on this account um, for the Marco pulls. And yeah, that's insanely good. Most of the time, or 99% of the time, because it is a 1.1% drop rate to get Marco. So 99% of the time, uh, you're going to be pitting him. It's still worth it. It's really good. So make sure you guys do at least 100 draws. Um, you could do 200 draws if you're really wailing on the game, but it's not needed. Eight star is perfectly fine and free to play because in the third week rewards, there is another really good event you guys will want to keep your gold fruits for. So there's the micro wish event right there. All right, now going over the runes arrive event. So this is a new event. Um, there's superior pack where you get a free 20 every day. This is mainly for whales if they want to buy packs um, This one's the same thing where you buy the packs and this is just for whales Unfortunately, all the good stuff is just for whales um, But there is actually Active challenges for free-to-play players and all players to do now You do these challenges throughout the week uh, these ones that aren't or don't refresh daily um, you have a full week to do them as you guys can see it ends in four hours and Complete water challenge very easy. That's just raiding twice on every single one choppers beast kingdom very easy to do you know, all the missions are very easy to do and You use these stardust lights in an exchange shop which we'll go over in just a sec So this is the second lot of missions as well. So I'll be buying gold daily as well Unfortunately, you have to use a little bit um, of gold, but it's perfectly fine. Recast amulet, I'll do that off recording as well. But yeah, all the missions are very easy, and you go to redeem, and this shop right here, you have a week to redeem these exchange items. So the best things to buy in this shop, obviously, is the purple rune, um, the five-star camp spirit, and one thing you really, really, really want to stock up early game is you want to stock up on gold so you want to buy all 50 of these or however many i think it's 100 or 500 whatever it is you want to stock up on gold as much as possible because some of the end game content with hockey training 
and all that good stuff upgrading your characters to like their maximum potential you need millions upon millions upon millions of gold you need hundreds of millions of gold and uh, gold is not an easy thing to get in the game so I highly recommend highly recommend make sure you buy these um, and then when I finish the rest of the missions you know you don't really need to buy tickets tickets aren't that insane you could buy XP but again in the third week there's an XP event um, where you're gonna get tons of XP and yeah Aside from the, the stuff that I've bought, you don't really need to buy this camp ticket if you don't want to. Um, I'm probably going to buy these two at the bottom. Um, so yes, this one to upgrade your legendary gear or holy gear. And this one for runes are absolutely amazing as well. So that's what I recommend buying in the shop. And then the last thing we go over is the limited events. Alright, so then we have the recruits. So obviously this runs for an entire week. Um, so you get to recruit as many five stars as possible then you get the selected rewards as you guys can see star assembly ranking up nine star heroes this one runs for an extra week so the entire time then you still have the usual events you know bespoke vault lucky box all exactly the same now this is the different event this event right here this is why you want to save some gold fruits and don't spend as much in the first week and save them for the second week because this event only happens on the second week of the game and that's the gold fruit total spending event so consumption of gold fruits so as you guys can see you can get some amazing rewards tons of tickets a lot of gold as well which is absolutely amazing i'm probably going to finish the 30k before the four hours as well um, so you definitely want to save and try not to use all your gold fruits in the first week because the second or third week, as I'm saying, is really, really good. Alright, one other quick thing. One event that does actually start after the first week is Summit War. On the left, I will be doing a full video on this. Explaining some of all the game modes and everything. Uh, just one thing. You know, the login rewards are absolutely amazing. This is one of the amazing things. This is a permanent event um, that runs two weeks. And then resets every week, every two weeks, sorry. Um, so I'll do a full video on this explaining all the game modes and everything and all the rewards and stuff because it is quite in depth um, in a separate video. But yeah, that's the events of the new server for the second week. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I hope it was really helpful to you guys. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.